Good morning, good afternoon, hello and welcome to day 28 of the 100 day now mindfulness challenge. Thank you for uh, being with me today. I hope um, you woke up this morning or wherever you are and you've had these moments of just being and just being with your breath and, and, and understanding that um, the situations around us are not what our thoughts are. We are not our thoughts, our emotions are true but they're not real always. So. I want to talk to you today just very briefly. It's not one big chat. It's talking about how we can create or visit a special place within ourselves, a safe place, a place where you know we can we can have this lovely imagery to relax, to attain calm and peace, and importantly to reduce any sort of stress or anxiety or anything that's going on in our minds at the moment. I keep saying about mindfulness. Mindfulness is the ability to have a single point of focus, our breath, with no judgmental thoughts, but holding those thoughts with loving kindness. So I want just to remind you of that, is that we can separate through our awakening the situation to our mental chatter. Now we'll have this on, on a daily basis. You know, we, we, it's not just about practicing mindfulness now in a meditation, it's about practicing mindfulness all day. So when you sat somewhere or doing something, you have this thought come into your mind, you think, oh, I don't like the feeling of that. And you can feel something rising. Just breathe it in, hold it with loving kindness, separate the situation that's around you with the thought that's in your mind and let it go. So today, I want to talk to you about um, you know visiting your special place. So we're going to do a meditation. We're going to go straight into it today on day 28. I want you to just close your eyes, and I'm going to put up the picture for you now. And I want you to find yourself in a comfortable position, uh, either sitting or laying down, but make sure you know, you're not going to be disturbed um, for the next few moments. And I want you to begin by relaxing your body, as we always do, and start focusing on your breath. Take a nice full deep breath in, hold it and exhale. Now when you're doing this, you let your, be your belly, your stomach rise and fall with each breath. No need to do anything else at all, just breathe. Breathing in and breathing out, good. I want you now to think of a place where, a place that's very special to you, a place that you feel completely calm and relaxed, a place where you feel safe. It can be anywhere you like, it can be a beach, it can be a holiday resort, it could be a childhood memory, it can be your own room, the room you're in at the moment. Sometimes people imagine being in the womb, all safe and warm before birth. And they picture all the details of this place, like colors and smells and any sensations. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to take a deep breath in because the special place where you are, the more detail, the better. And vividly, wherever you are now, see all the colours bringing bright, shimmering light all around you. It feels so calm, so beautiful and so loving. I want you to take another deep breath in through your nose and imagine you can sense the smells around you in this safe and wonderful place. Feel the sensations of safety in your body, feel how calm you feel, how relaxed you feel, how quickly you've managed to get into this place and be with this place. Notice how your chest and your belly feels right now. And in essence, feel all the sensations throughout your body. Does your legs feel relaxed? Your legs at the moment have absolutely nowhere to take you right now. It's just about being, sitting in or laying in this space. You are very, very relaxed, very comfortable. I need just to make some very small movements with your head. And as you do so, I just want you to connect in with that movement and feel those 
sensations in your neck. Perhaps your body feels a little lighter or maybe a little bit heavier. Just notice all of the sensations in your body right now and take note of how this wonderful, blissful state feels. We'll start an exercise where we notice all of the different emotions that we have and that we feel. Where we feel them and in which part of the body we have them. And at times we might feel an, 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 an uncomfortable emotion just rise. And if it does, you can simply remember how it feels to be in your safe spot and breathe some very gentle breaths and just hold that uncomfortable emotion with loving kindness, separating any mental chatter from the emotion itself. And by practicing these techniques of noticing the sensations in your body and learning your, you can physically change your body's chemistry, making you feel relaxed and secure is a beautiful and wonderful gift. And when you know when you're sat here or laying here, start to feel and start to imagine the feeling of pride in yourself. Visualize yourself and feel yourself being very proud. You can do this just by casting your mind back, remembering when you accomplish something that not only you thought was marvellous and special, but those people around you as well. If that's difficult for you, then you can think about when you were proud of somebody else who did something wonderful. Just feel this sensation and pay attention to where in your body you notice it. Really sense its location. Sit with its sensation for a moment. Now I'd like you to feel the experience of feeling excitement. Again, remember vividly being excited about something. Or maybe you become more enthusiastic right now with a particular reason or situation around you. I just want you to feel, notice how the feeling of excitement sits with you. How does it feel? And again, sense where this situation, this sensation arises in your body and feel any physical changes that you notice. Sit with this moment, this feeling of excitement for a moment, breath to breath. I'd like you to now bring your awareness to the feeling of amusement. Can you remember when something was really interesting to you? Remember how it grabbed your attention. Feel all of the sens sensations in your body. And where do you sense this feeling of amusement? What is the essence of what you notice. Perhaps it doesn't, it doesn't feel like much at all, and that's perfectly fine as well. But I'd like you just to sit with a sensation of amusement, just for a moment, breath to breath. Now I'd like you to locate in your mind, in your emotional bank, whenever it was, that you, the, the feeling of gratitude. Feel the feelings arise when you were grateful for something. Do you remember a time when you were truly grateful for something or someone? Also think about that time when you were grateful for someone or something. Be grateful right now. Why? Where do you feel this emotion? Notice every sensation you can. 
And again, just sit with this feeling of gratitude. Now, if you can, I want you to bring your awareness to the feeling of kindness. How does it feel to be kind to someone? How does it feel to do an act of kindness? We, as humans, as people, always strive to be the kindest creatures on this earth. And this feels good for a number of reasons. Without kindness, we'd struggle to get along at all, wouldn't we? So feel all of the sensations you can that come from kindness. Noticing in your body where you're feeling any shifts. Sit with this feeling for some time and feel the kindness within. Now you visualize many emotions and many feelings. Well done. So right now I want you just to relax and stop trying to do anything at all. Don't try to bring up anything in particular, just let the emotions flow through you. Let them pass by as soon as they arrive. If you like, take an observer's view of what's happening and witness all the changes that's happening around you, emotions, etc. You may encounter a feeling beginning to swell that doesn't feel right, and that's completely okay as well. Just sit with that for a moment. When we're sitting in these meditations, we naturally have exterior noises, life passing us by. Just allow you to sit with them and let them pass. In this encounter, you may be feeling that doesn't feel right for you, that doesn't sit right with you. It's okay to feel all of these emotions, both positive and negative. So allow if there is this feeling of an ease. Allow this wave just to roll on by effortlessly. Allow it, watch it pass. Remember, you can always choose to come back to your safe place, feeling this pleasant sensations and just breathing towards them. And by sensing the good feelings and allowing not so good feelings to pass by, you change your entire body chemistry for the better. When you can locate where these sensations arise, you get a better understanding of your body. So let's try this again. This time, a little bit quicker. Imagine the feeling of joy. Remember as many joyful memories as you can, all the way to back to when you were a child. You could be experiencing the biggest joy right now, noticing where your body is as your sensations arise. Notice every change allowing this sensation to grow, filling you up and let it get stronger. Your body is physically changing and healing right now. Now with the feeling present in your body, visualize your safe place again. And by doing so, you are strengthened in the positive emotions tied to your safe spot. Visiting your safe spot can often have a great effect on relaxing your body, your mind, and ultimately, connecting with your soul. A relaxed body we know heals itself easily, naturally, it feels good. And sometimes when we're under tension, sometimes it's difficult to bring ourselves to a calm, relaxed state. 
but practicing the safe space technique every day will help you to convert those hard times if they come. Let's strengthen our safe spot even more. I want you to visualize the feeling of passion. Everyone is passionate about something or someone. So find your passion and notice the sensations as you do that arise. How does it feel? Do you feel pleasant changes? Where do you feel these changes? And just let this passionate feeling grow, getting stronger and stronger. Now I'd like you to go back to your safe place, bringing passion with you. And just relax there for a while. You can always bring yourself back here to your safe space place at any moment in your day. Now I'd like you to return your awareness to the present moment, noticing the surroundings and becoming more alert. And when you're fully present, you can go about the rest of your day feeling very relaxed and very refreshed. That was a slightly normal, uh, longer meditation than normally was quite guided, but I just feel it's important for us to, we've said before, cultivate and change the neural highways that affect us in our lives and the neuroplasticity of being able to be in a beautiful situation and being able to change the way our mindset works and be able to push our happiness bar that we've talked about in the previous 28 days. It's a lovely meditation and one you can go back to whenever you like. These videos are there for you, for a resource for you to be able to, you know, cultivate this outside of this 100 day challenge. I hope everything's okay with you today. Be love and give love. I think we're going to be locked down for another three weeks here in the UK, but that's okay. We've got each other and we're all growing. We're learning and we're transforming. And don't forget yesterday I put a bit of a... A, a, a play out each one reach one share this video to somebody go on now click the share button send an email to somebody show somebody and the only reason I'm asking you to do this is I believe that mindfulness is the key to unlock the freedom during isolation and it's the key to unlock your life when we get back on thank you very much for watching today Put your hand on your heart and say, good morning, Julian, I love you. Good morning, Julian, I love you. Have a lovely day. I shall see you on day 29, which will be Friday, the 17th of April, 2020. Have a lovely day. Practice your meditation and I'll see you soon. And don't forget, each one, reach one. Please share this with somebody today and they can share with somebody themselves and we can start this mindfulness challenge going viral and get as many people on this as possible so they can have the tools to be able to meet all of their challenges, their emotions, their fears, that anxiety in their lives. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Be love and give love. Take care. Bye-bye.